Greetings, discreet defenders. We have exciting news today. We have, first of all, the, uh, the brand new Pro Chrono is uh, up and running. Actually, I haven't turned it on yet. <laughs> it may not be, but uh, should be. Brand new battery in there. And possibly even more exciting, we have the LCP2 back up and running. I just tested it out with 10 rounds and uh, cycled them all no problem. So after a thorough takedown and cleaning and lube, we are set to do the long-awaited, oft-promised Winchester Silver Tips. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw five across the Pro Chrono, and then we're gonna set up the gel blocks, the little, uh, the little mini 22 gel blocks, and uh, see what kind of penetration they get. All right, let's see if I can. You know what? I think I'm gonna zoom in right on the face of that brand new Pro Chrono. Let's see if you guys can't read these shots as I make them, or hopefully make them. Hopefully the first thing I don't do is damage my brand new Pro Chrono after all the years of managing to somehow not damage the aging Pro Chrono. Yeah! <laughs> Ready to go! Nine forty three, nine oh four, nine forty two, nine fifty one, nine thirty one. Okay, putting the safety on. I have two more rounds in there for the gel block phase of this test. Make sure that's focused in on there, because now we're going to hit the review button and it'll just, it'll cycle through those shots. Don't need to see them over again. The highest was 951, lowest was 904. The average was 934 feet per second muzzle velocity from those Winchester silver tips. All right, now let's set up the gel block and throw a couple of rounds through it. All right, these have been chilling in the slush, which is still about a foot deep out here in the state forest in northwestern Minnesota. They're a second melt, so they should also be extra, extra tough, real reluctant to break out of the mold. Here they go. Ah, all right. All right, we'll set those up in a line. And then I think what I'm gonna do, maybe I'll just bring this right to the edge because I will hang a t-shirt barrier off of it. Just sort of a, a realistic clothing barrier that I traditionally set up for 22 LR. Usually I take, uh, I'll just do four, four layers of t-shirt here. Old ratty cotton, not much, not much of a barrier, not looking to uh, clog the hollow point cavity so much as just add something to the challenge for these little, 22 caliber bullets. And before we shoot them, take a look at that silver tip hollow point cavity. That's gonna be interesting. It's supposed to be uh, segmenting. It's gonna break into three pieces, just like the Brownings did. And we, uh, we witnessed that last January. And perhaps what I shall do is shift the camera position so that you can watch that happen as they go in. Yeah. 
Did I get them both? Yeah, they both have good wound tracks here. Yeah, got them both. Now, one of them I know went uh, quite a great deal deeper than the other one. One of these, it's not hard to figure out what's going on there. Did they segment at all? Yeah, there's a segment. There's a piece of the one that stopped short, actually. That's kind of strange. And there's also segments from the one that went deep. Actually, you can see, you can see three of them. Now, the one that stopped short seems to have shed only one segment petal. And um, it's definitely stopped right at nine inches in the gel. You know what? I think I'm gonna take out the, uh, the that 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 short bullet. That was the first one I fired because I think, yeah, there you see what's going on. That's why it's veered as well. It has retained two out of the three pellets or petals. And I think it, uh, I think it, I think it, uh, it tumbled in the block. And although it wound up base, base facing rearward, those, uh, at the very least slowed it down. Maybe it didn't tumble, but that's the, the, that's what caused it to veer. Mm, dropped it. <laughs> and, um, and that's also what slowed it down and stopped it at just nine inches. Now the other one, obviously, has gone quite a bit deeper. So we'll measure that. On the long one that shed its three petals, and that has come in just at 13 inches. That is an extremely good penetration. Wow. Well now, nothing wrong with that penetration. So the bullet that shed three petals penetrated 13 inches and, and, and shot straight, penetrated straight in the gel, which is interesting by itself. Now, the other thing is retained weight. I did bring the little powder scale so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a uh, I'm going to grab a retained weight. Wow, that gel is pretty tough. I'm going to grab a retained weight on the bullet that shed its petals. Out of 37 grains, that one has retained 26.4 grains. So there by itself is some interesting results. Let's try the other one. The one that retained two petals has, uh, has retained 34.4 grains. I can't say that I necessarily recommend this ammunition, but it's, it's, uh, it's decent. As 22 ammo goes, it's decent. I wouldn't want to be shot with, uh, with Winchester silver tips. So once again, that was our test of Winchester silver tips in 22 LR through the one or the 2.75 inch barrel of the Ruger LCP2. Thanks folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.